I'm Naomi Wilzik, the owner of the World Erotic Art Museum. First of all, thank you all for coming. Thank you. I have a captive audience, so for a few moments before we get to our guest speaker and an entertainer afterwards, I want to tell you a little bit about the museum. The museum is a personal collection. I am an Orthodox Jew and a grandmother. Now, how does an Orthodox Jewish grandmother become the country's authority on erotic art? <laughs> Well, it just kind of happened. I didn't intend for it to happen. I never projected it to happen. I was an avid antique collector, and my oldest son knew that. And he was about to move into a new apartment, and he said, Ma, do me a favor. While you're looking for your art pieces, <clears throat> buy me some erotic art. And this dummy said, what are you talking about? A statue, a painting, a book? He says, it doesn't matter, so long as it's erotic. I said, okay. Next time I'm antiquing, I'll buy you some, without knowing what some was. So a few weeks later, I went to an antique show, and I went up and down the aisles looking for erotic art, and lo and behold, there was nothing there. Two weeks later, I went to another show, Again, looked and looked and looked. I knew the meaning of the word, but I didn't see anything erotic. But at the second show, there was a dealer I was friendly with, and I went over to him, and I said, Jeff, who sells erotic art? And he answered me, everybody does and nobody does. I said, what does that mean? <clears throat> he said, you never know when a dealer finds a piece when they buy up an estate, someone dies, moves, divorces, downsizes, or meets, unfortunately, Madoff. Anyways, he said, the answer is, you never know when they have a piece, but then they don't put it out because you can come to the show with children. So you literally have to ask the dealers, do you have any erotic art? So that started me on a journey of having eyebrows raised, fielding dumb remarks, having obscene motions made toward me, but I never gave up, and I finally found him a few pieces, but by now I was totally fascinated with the search and turned on by the idea, why is it hidden away? Granted, it shouldn't be in the face of children, but there are many places where there aren't children. Why are they hiding it away? Why are they not recognizing human sexuality? How else do you think we all got here through a sexual experience? So I became fascinated with the subject, started looking, started buying a few pieces for myself, and I went from some decor in my home to a collection, to an obsession, to writing five books, to a museum. So that's how we got here. And again, I appreciate that all of you support us and have come out. One of the things in creating the museum, I decided to illustrate all countries, cultures, and subjects. And amongst them was, of course, the subject of black art. And in delving into black art, I discovered a heroine that I really didn't know much about. And that was a woman by the name of Josephine Baker, 